Okay, for this tutorial we're going to have a little look at um, using work planes in Pro Desktop. So for this I'm going to draw a boat. So I'm going to go File New and open a new design. If I hold down the Shift key and A, sorry Shift key and W, it rotates the canvas so I'm now drawing in 2D. First thing I'm going to choose a rectangle tool and press R on the keyboard. And where the two arrows meet, I'm going to draw a rectangle about 100 by about 40. And Shift and A now zooms right in. This is going to be the bottom of my boat, the um, hull, as we call it. So I've drawn my rectangle, and I'm now going to um, use a line tool, and I'm going to draw two diagonal lines coming down from each corner. Use the bottom crop tool to remove these lines and turn it back into a shape that should be coloured in. And then finally, just to give it a little bit more, make it look a little bit more like a boat, I'm just going to curve these two bottom corners. Um, make sure there's no line selected. I can click on the grey just to make sure. Um, click on the third tool up, which is the arc or fillet tool. And I'm just going to pull these two points. just to curve the bottom of the boat. So there we go, we've got a flat boat, I'm just using the cursor keys now just, just to show you. Um, and now I'm going to go to Feature Extrude, and I'm going to extrude this by about 40 again, and click OK. We now have the bottom of the boat. doesn't look much like a big boat at the minute, but um, Shift and H um, puts it into half scale. And now I'm going to use the Select Faces tool um, and select the top face. You can see the top face has gone red, the rest of the boat has gone back to its um, set colour of grey. So I've chosen this um, this face and now I'm going to go to Work Plane and create a new work plane. Um, the new work plane is going to be called Cabin call whatever you want but it's going to be called cabin because that's where I'm going to put the cabin um, on top of the um, the hull of the boat and I click OK. As you can see in the work planes menu on the left hand side um, under base we've got um, cabin. Now I can't draw anything on cabin yet until I put a sketch on cabin so where it says cabin on the little yellow folder I'm going to right click and I'm going to put a new sketch in. Um, OK, and now under Cabin we've got Sketch 1. That's um, uh, been made bold, so that means that's the active active um, work plane, that's the active sketch. So now if I go Shift and W, it rotates it round, so I'm working on that work plane. And now I'm going to draw a cabin. So I'm going to draw another rectangle on top of, well, I would we'd call it the deck of the boat draw another rectangle. So you can see that's stopped on top of the boat. And now I'm going to go to Feature, Extrude. And what I can do now is just drag that point up to where I think the cabin should be. I think I'm going to press about 20. OK. Back to the Extrude palette and just click OK. And it's set there. So there you go. I've got um, the hull of the boat, I've got the deck, and now I've got the cabin of the boat. On top of the cabin, I'm going to put some funnels. I'm going to do like an old-fashioned boat and put some, put a couple of funnels on. Well, actually, it's possibly just one funnel on. Um, so, again, click Select Faces tool. Again, another work plane. So I've chosen that top face. Work plane, new work plane. Um, this time, it's going to be called the um, the funnel. Click OK. And there we go. We've got funnel and the frontal. Send and sketch. So every time you do a new work plane, you need to um, activate it by putting a new sketch in it. I'll leave it as sketch 2 and click OK. Back to Shift W. And we've got that rotated around. And now I'm going to draw two circles. We start with the, the wide part of the chimney. And then inside that, I'm going to draw another circle. 
this means it will only extrude that gray, that green area. So it won't extrude the middle, it won't extrude anywhere around which is just to that green area. So again, I'm going to rotate that around, go to um, go under and go to feature, extrude, and again we can drag that yellow circle, drag it up, and click OK. So I've now got a, um, a funnel, a quite big funnel on top of the bow. Um, just to um, just to finish off, uh, I'm going to click on the side of the cabin there. Um, again, create another rope length. This is going to be the boat side. And click OK. Now on the boat side, I'm going to draw um, some portholes in the hull, and I'm going to draw a window in the cabin. So I've got the boat side. I'm going to click New Sketch. Click OK. So now I've gone bold, it's now active, step through. Okay, just going to sort of shift my hand on the keyboard to zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to draw a rectangle for the cabin window with a rectangle tool. I'm going to use a circle tool. Go to the portal, make that eight. Portal there, what I can do if I click on the select tool is red. I wait for the two cursors to appear. I can now drag that around. But what I'm going to do is go and go um, Control C, Control V to paste it in, and I'm just going to move that to the side. And that's it. So select them both by pressing on the Shift key. Both gone red. I can then Control C, Control V. Drag those around so we've got four portholes. All I need to do now is go to the feature, project, I'm going to subtract material, I'm going to do this symmetric about the rope length, and I'm going to go through the entire flap. Click OK, and that can punch holes through the cabin and through the hull of the boat, as you can see. Just going to select the part tool there to get rid of those lines and press Shift and A, and there you go. We have got a finished boat. Just to finish off, and click on the smiley face and watch it rotating round. So that's the end of that tutorial. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.